Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new project. Well, it's sort of a side project, I guess, seeing as, well, I've already got three going on. But, well, you'll see what this is in just a second now, won't you? Welcome to Disgaea, one of my absolute favorite games. Oh, I, so, I suppose I should actually introduce who I am. My name is Owix Fu, and I will be taking you, I will be escorting you, on this descent into madness with this Gaia Hour of Darkness. I'm just going to be quiet. King Pijefskoy, the mighty ruler of the Netherworld. So the intro can just go. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the dark land. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later... Prince! Prince, wake up! This is Etna. She is... well, she's not the main character. That's us. That's the, case, the main character in the coffin right now. Laharl. What fool dares awaken me, the great Laharl? If any of you have watched Fooly Cooly, you'll recognize him as the voice of Nauta from the English version. <laughs> I'm, glad you're still alive. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lose the charade right now. This is not a serious game at all. That is why I love it so much. And for the most part, Anyways, why are all those weapons behind you? for the most part, while the dialogue's going, I'm gonna shut up because it's absolutely golden. Well, I was having a hard time waking you up. Well, most of it is. Are you sure you weren't trying to kill me instead? No, uh, I, I mean yes. I, I just wanted to wake you up. But anyway, this is Edna, one of his vassals. <laughs> Whatever. So, what is it? You better have a good reason for waking me up. Oh, she's got a good reason oh, indeed, don't yeah. worry. Big news. Your father, King Prochevskoy, has died. In what? When? Two years ago. Let it sink in. Wait a second. So, you're telling me that I've been sleeping for over two years? Yep. <laughs> yep. Why didn't you wake me up earlier? Excuse me, but what do you think I've been doing all this time? Hey, geez, Laharl. The Netherworld has gone to hell while you were sleeping. But um, Tish. Really, there's not much not I can comment fault. on here. They make their own jokes. The title of Overlord. What? Have they forgotten whose title they're trying to steal? And until we're through with this cutscene, I don't want to explain what's going on. <laughs> How bold of them. I shall show no mercy, for I am Laharl, the rightful heir to the throne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of the best lines, one of the best laughs I've ever heard. And Etna, our vassal, has joined our party. So now we have two characters. Oh. Episode one, Prince of the Netherworld. Anyway, now that we've actually gotten through the first cutscene, I can explain a couple of things. First of all, we get to control Laharo. Woo! Now, first things first. This is a tactical RPG. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't jump in this. You can actually jump in this guy too. And I'm assuming 3 and 4. I haven't gotten 4 yet because no game stops have it within an hour of me, but... Um... Let's see. A nice sword, but it's chipped. Not a single round left. A lovely morning star. Cool looking drill. Was Etna trying to wake me up with all of these? The nerve of her. Oh, um, look. It looks like some bullet holes in our coffin. Although, not really. Alright, so, um... Now we can actually explain a couple things, because... I won't actually be doing much for explanation of the gameplay, 
because this is not your average Let's Play. Um, this is actually going to be Gullick. All the royal vessels who left the castle shortly after the king died. <laughs> Even with me still around? <laughs> well, you were sleeping. They must have forgotten about you. Um, no, I won't be... Ooh, go back here? Flip a secret switch? Yes, we will. That's just like you, Prince, taking a two-year nap. I only planned on napping for about ten years. Or for about ten days, I mean. Hmm, something's not right. We might have missed a switch. Uh, let me just go back and check. But, as you might have figured out, um... Well, especially if you've been following me on Twitter, because I've been talking about this for a few days now. Um, this is not going to be your average Let's Play. No, indeed, this is going to be... A let's live, of all things, because Disgaea is one hell of a long game. Oh, well, looks like I just wasted my time digging that grave for you, Heart. I'll put you in that grave instead. But this is one of my absolute favorite games, and I do want to share it with the Let's Playing community, so I figured I should do something instead of just letting it lie here. So, what I decided was, well, to actually do a Let's Live. Is there a problem, Prince? This is Loginus. He pretty much just tells us a few basic things about weapons. It's not really that important now. It's not important at all because, well, I can do it all for you. I can tell you all you need to know. Gargo. In order to prevent intruders, I have closed all the gates. Please talk to the dimensional gatekeeper if you'd like to leave the castle. Yeah, whatever. You probably just didn't want to watch the gate. Good morning, Prince. How are you feeling? Couldn't be worse. My body feels really stiff from sleeping too much. Why don't you wrap warm up on the tutorial map? Go see the Dimensional Gatekeeper and she'll send you there. And that's exactly what we're going to do, Etna. Now, one of the reasons I... Uh, the other reason I wanted to start this as a Let's Live is because I don't really... Yeah, yeah, whatever. We can buy items and equipment here. We can only be equipped with four, we one weapon and three pieces of equipment. These guys will come in handy later. This go to... I think it's her, actually. Yeah, go to her and she'll heal you. I was curious because she's actually... Um... can't remember what class that is. It's, all, it's not from this game. It's from Disgaea 2, I think. Oh gosh, I haven't, I haven't actually played the difference between these two games in so long. Eat, sleep, and do anything you want all day. It's so good to be a demon! Have you ever thought of working for me? Ha ha ha! Of course not! And she'll come in handy later. Have you saved yet? We'll save later, because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be keeping this recording. I'll see how it comes out later. But let's just go talk to Kimir. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, she was, she's a dimensional gatekeeper. Gate Basically, we pick the level from her. And before we can go anywhere, we need to go to Battle Basics. So. But yeah, no, I really don't talk about my life in my Let's Plays. And I really want to, because it just... There's been a lot that's been going on with me, especially lately, because, well, as the, again, as those of you that follow me on Twitter know, I recently changed majors in my college career. Um, and it's just a huge change for me, because before now, I had actually been a computer science major. And I went through three years at my college um, in a computer science major, working towards getting a degree in that. Get your butt down here now! And I recently, at the beginning of this year, I changed to English. So I know, right? It's a huge well. change. So. They're my loyal servants. They'll do anything. I'm going to stop for now because we have met the best part of this game, the best thing that Disgaea ever brought to the RPG table, Prinnies. These are the souls of the damned come to the netherworld. Sure about that? Basically, human souls, if they have sinned, instead of going to, I believe it's Celestia, is the um, heaven in this world, they come to the netherworld and they take on the form of penguins with two peg legs 
that are filled with gunpowder. I will show you what I mean in just five seconds. Now these prinnies are extremely special. They are going to stay with us throughout the entire game. There are a lot of surprises with this game that will come up as we go through it, especially later on. One of those is that we don't have a standard level cap. I, won't, I will not tell you, actually, this episode, but... No, actually I will, because if I ask you to guess, someone's going to go on Wikipedia and just tell me. Um, so there... Okay, you'd think, okay, let's see, like... A lot of RPGs these days, they have the level cap at 20, then they upped it with downloadable packages to, um, to up it to 30 or 40. A lot of old RPGs, it's level 100. This RPG, the cap level is 9,999. Oh yeah, and he's a demon, so being nice is bad. I know. 9,999. And then you can reincarnate people up to 16 times, so I think you can actually... I believe the level actual level cap is somewhere around uh, just under six, 160,000, because they carry over all their level bonuses from, below, from before. Yeah, basically this is all just teaching us how to fight. Um, I'm just gonna skip all this because I can teach you better. Uh, well, you can't skip it. Okay, so I can just explain. So, these three prinnies are going to be renamed as soon as we get back to the Netherworld, because I'm going to be naming these three after three of the most influential, um, friends that I have on YouTube right now. Um, and you'll see. You'll see once, once we get... Once we get back to the Netherworld, because I'm not gonna, I'm not about to ruin anything. All right. So, like I was saying, I recently changed majors to an English major. Um, I've told some people why that was. Um, I just really wasn't feeling the passion that I had for computer science that I thought I had. It always was kind of a family thing for me too, because my dad's in in computer science. My mom, my not my mom. My step, my half brothers in computer science, so it was always a big thing for me. Um, plus, it always just seemed so cool. Um, oh, Harley, you're taking quite a beating. Ah, what? Ow! Why do I have to be the one to do this? I'm the next Overlord for crying out loud. That was an example of something not to do. Only an idiot would rush straight into the enemy alone. You made me do it. Jeez, character. Yeah, we can play. You, we can pay hell the um, currency at the hospital to revive our characters. I'm gonna try to not have our characters die as much as possible, but it's really not that big of a deal. We actually get items for dying. Um, yeah, I'll explain all this later. And. Well, I changed to English because I found out that I really do have a passion for that. Especially thanks a lot to one of my professors who taught a an Irish liter literature course last semester uh, that I was a part of. And I just absolutely fell in love with just the major in general. Alright, so as you saw, go over here, pick the character you want to use, move them. You can actually press circle to move them back to where they were, um, and attack. And then you have two commands here that you can do. You can either do execute, which will have any assigned actions just go through and then you can't take any of them back, or you can choose end turn, which will execute all the attacks, but then it will end your turn. Um, one of the important things here that she did not really mention is that you can put allies, well, that I skipped over, is that you can put allies next to each other and then attack. And see that right there, a chance of team attack? Um, every character adjacent to you has a chance of attacking with you, so I'll show that right now. Oh, usually it's... And a lot of the times this will do less damage because it's... Well, each character will do less damage because it's meant to stack up, but... 
let's see. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. But I'm going to use it again anyway, just because the Prinnies right now are extremely weak. <laughs> That's the other thing. They, um, use the word dude quite a lot. <laughs> but it's not the standard D-U-D-E, dude. It's D-O-O-D, dude. Oh, come on, we can kill this guy. Jeez, it's only the tutorial level, level for crying out loud. I'll show you the special part about Prinnies afterwards. Oh, come on! Magenta, you're kicking some total ass. Wait a minute. 15 attack. How did... You, oh. You've got only... How did you miss so many times? Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Like I was saying, I just found such a passion for the English language, and now... Well, for the English language. For the English major. Um, which, I, which I did have through high school as well, and I just realized how much I was cheating myself out of by trying to live up to, well, trying to follow in my dad's footsteps, really. Die. And it's just, I feel so extremely, extremely, uh, blah, blah, extremely relieved to have all of that off my back, but more importantly, I'm so much happier right now. Sort of. Because I have one of my teachers for young adult literature. That's the other thing. I'm taking a lot of... Co I'm trying to become a teacher. Hopefully. You can have concentrations at my college. Um, one that I already have pretty much in the bag is um, the Irish literature concentration. I need to take one more course next semester for it. Which... One of the courses we can take is I'm actually taking the Irish language course that one of the Fulbright scholars is, ta is has over here. Or, one of the Fulbright scholars we brought over here is... is, um, teaching. So... It's pretty awesome, that's all. <laughs> I get to learn Irish with someone who came over from Ireland specially to teach people Irish. That, to me, is one of the most amazing things that I've been able to do here, ever. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, one thing they don't actually tell you, if you've been reading along, is that you can actually throw your characters. They don't tell you that you can actually throw your characters diagonally. Um, by switching directions quickly. But... Eh. Whatever. But no, the other concentration that I'm trying to get while I'm in the English major is the teaching concentration. Because I do want to teach. That's ultimate... Well, that's not ultimately what I, what I want to do. But that is my... That is a step in my plan. And it, really, it's a plan that makes me happy. Alright, now that we know the lift command, I'm going to show you the very special part about the Prinny. Let's get out... Hmm... Well... Who was it? Matthias! You have failed us for the last time! Lift him up, and throw the Prinny! Because when Prinny's hit, they explode! And they will damage everything around them, not just enemies, but your own characters as well. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that right now. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. I knew we could rotate the field, I just couldn't remember how. Um, but the one teaching... Well, the one class I'm taking right now that's associated with the teaching concentration is Young Adult Literature. And I just absolutely cannot stand the teacher. Um, because... Well, no. I should rephrase that. My feelings for her are... They vary. Because first thing... Uh, first class after... Well, the second class. First class after the first one. <laughs> um, she actually... We had a quiz. And one of the things on the quiz was asking about the syllabus. And I'm like, okay, that's... Not that big of a deal. Oh yeah, spears can actually attack from two spaces away. This comes in handy later. But we'll get to weapon-specific stuff later. We actually learn weapon-specific stuff. Um, 
but uh, when after the test was the quiz was over, um, she explained, "Oh, some of you might have seen a question on there relating to a syllabus. All of us obviously had because we had all gone through the the quiz. But that's not the point." Um, and she told us, "Yeah." You were supposed to take notes and make discussion questions on that, because everything we read in that class we have to take notes and make discussion questions about. And this was one of them. At least she told us after the quiz that we were supposed to, well, you know, have taken notes and done the discussion questions so that we knew the answer for the quiz. And to me, that was just one of the most underhanded things. And a lot of the note taking is just really a lot of busy work. Um, I th ultimately, I think I'm just going to be cutting down a lot on the notes that I'm taking, just because I don't have time for anything else with just that class. I actually, I actually had to um, do an all nighter earlier this week, just because with that class, all the work that she's having us do all the ridiculous work that she's having us do. I was in a, I was not going to have time to actually be able to do the first draft for one of the papers for my writing course. And the three papers we have to write for that course are 50% of our grade, so there was no way that I was going to not do it. Alright, now these are geo panels. Basically, they're panels. Um, when they're in a color, they, ter they add an effect to every to all panels that are colored that way. Like, the blue one will make all the blue panels get plus 50 experience for any enemy... Oh, no, sorry, plus 50 enemy boost. Plus 50% enemy boost for any enemy that's on the blue panels. So. Um, now, if you throw them on, say, the red one, then all the enemies on the red panel will get the the boost. Here's the boost to get through! Um, now, the important thing is that when you throw it on... Well, you see how it has a color. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter that it's blue and it's on. Let me restart. So you throw it in the red space. Now if you attack the Geo Symbol and destroy it, it'll turn all those red panels blue. And it'll cause damage to anything that is caught in there. Uh, that is caught on a red panel that's turning blue. Um, the thing about this is it will also automatically destroy any other geo panel that's on, that might be on these panels. Now, this is just going to actually explain that visually. Yeah, this will happen. <laughs> Now you'll see all the panels are blue. If there was, say, a red panel on there, that panel would have been destroyed, and then it would cover... it would result in a chain reaction. You'll see the bonus gauge down in the um, bottom right corner. As you destroy more... basically the fastest way to fill up the bonus gauge is to destroy geo panels. Attacking different enemies will slowly fill it up, but as you can see, just destroying that few those few panels almost halfway filled their bonus gauge, and this will go up to 9 and earn you different rewards on the map based on what you... well, how high it is. Because you saw earlier that we got Fairy Dust. That was because we had a bonus gauge of 0. Um, I will show you in a second what I'm talking about. You can go to bonus and it'll show you what you get for the different bonus gauge levels. Now, let's see. What do I want to do here? I want to throw Laharl over here, and I want to attack the Geo Panel. That is it. And this map is, well, just watch the chain reaction. This honestly becomes a very tedious part of the game very quickly, but you can't defeat a lot of the enemies without the use of Geo Panels unfortunately. Um, they did lessen it to some extent in Disgaea 2, which I'm extremely glad they did. Actually, they, do they even have geo panels in Disgaea 2? They must have. 
but they made him more clever, and they added a lot of upgrades to him. Alright, now so see, bonus gauge 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, there we go. But no, as I go through this semester, I just want to share a lot of these things with you. And, well, that's, ho well, that's what I'm hoping that this Let's Live will actually be able to accomplish. Now, I know this is running about 25 minutes right now, and this is probably going to... Um, it was probably going to get up to half an hour, but honestly, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll explain the Dark Assembly in a little bit. Um, for right now, I'm just going to do one thing with the Dark Assembly. Um, honestly, I just, this is not just, honestly, I just want to share. Um... You don't have to like it. You don't even have to. You don't even have to watch it. Um, this will be a lot of let's play elements. I am going to show. I am going to go through every level. Um, and I'll probably do. If I ever get to streams, I'll probably do a little bit with this as well, just grinding and stuff like that. By the way, there's a switch in here. I can never remember. The third switch down here. No. Right, I can never remember where the third switch is. It might be... No. No, I don't want to go with another... Oh, yeah, I do, actually. Okay, they're not... Broken. <laughs> oh, where do I... Yeah, I don't care. Shut up, zombie. Oh, cool, we got 300 health. That's pretty useful. Honestly, I can't remember where the third switch is. I'll find that next time. But, last thing I want to do in here is... Summon Assembly! to change the names. Alright, wait, who do we have? We have Faye, Matthias, and Magenta. Alright, so I'm just gonna go straight down the name straight down the list. I'm going to change everybody's name because these honestly are going to grow into our most powerful characters because like I said, we can reincarnate characters, and when we reincarnate characters, um, you can change their class. So, don't worry, the three of you are not going to stay pretties for long. No, actually, I should just... I mean, unless you want, unless you want to stay explosive penguin soul human souls that's up to you all right so that is Harry rock paper Mario here is Amanda aka splitable infinitive and last and certainly not least is where is the R? Roger, aka Chromium. I figure that's the least I can do for you guys. <laughs> who am I kidding? Um, who wants to be a an explosive penguin? Um, as we get more characters, I'll ask you guys if you want to be. A character in this Let's Live, and I'll make you a character. You'll all start out as Prinnies, and I'll give you time so you can choose what class you want to be, um, especially because we need to unlock characters. Um, right now, we only have about 10 or so. Um, basically, a martial artist, a well, two martial artists, male and female, two two warriors, male and female, two types of mages, male and female, um, fire, wind, and ice, um, a cleric, male and female, um, a hobbit, yeah, these are monsters, um, as you can see, their aptitude for skills are all 100, but they don't, they aren't able to equip weapons, normal weapons. I'll get into this all next episode, so right now it's just not important. Um, just letting you guys know that if you do want to be a character in this Let's Live, just give me a 
collar, and I will make you one. Um, for right now, I am going to make one for me. However... Yeah, you know what? I will. Oh, you know what? I could have made an incompetent. Oh, I can't even make an incompetent pretty <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh. Because I've got to take away everything for a good for nothing. Can I make a... No, Etna only has one mana. Damn it. Alright, so I guess I'll do that next time. Um, after we finish a map next time, I'll make some sort of pretty for myself. Name it OX... Well, no. Name it Alex, and we'll see where I go with that. Um, for right now, though, we are all set. Um, that is all I wanted to accomplish in this Let's Play, and just let you guys know what was going on. Or, sorry, in this episode of Let's Live, Disgaea, Hour of Darkness, with Mio Fu. And I want to thank you guys all especially in this first episode, for all the support you've shown me up to this point. Um, there, was one, there was a joke that I was making a while back. Um, I think I only told Amanda about it. Is that when I set out to start this Let's Playing, that my goal was actually to get uh, her and Rock Paper Mario to start watching my videos because they were the ones that inspired me to start Let's Playing. And when they did, when they were both subscribed to me and watching my videos and commenting, I was taken aback. I, there's, it was one of the greatest things ever. Um, because they're such amazing people. And they were, they were watching my videos. But um, I wanted to put out a joke video and just be like, you know what, guys? I did what I wanted to be. I, I did what I wanted to do. Okay, I'm done Let's Playing. See you guys later. And make that uh, sort of joke, but I didn't. And now you know the joke that I was going to make, so I can't do it as like 100 subscribers special or something. No, I've got something planned for that, don't worry. Oh, 17 more. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. But, no, oh, it's, it's nice. It really is. I mean, I honestly cannot tell you how much fun that I am having with this. I mean, the first few months were really rough because I didn't know anybody, but now it's just become... Oh my god, it's become so fun. I'm never going to find that third Switch, am I? Because I always forget where it is. But yeah, that's... that's. I think that's all for this episode. So I will not be able to find I, pff, I will not be able to find this first this third switch I know I won't be able to unless it's in here but I'm I'm almost 100% sure that it's not yeah no it's not um I'll find it next episode you know what yeah let's just leave it for that stop stop hands off the controller no hands up I put the controller down I'm done well there face Harl towards us so I'll see you guys next time on Let's Live Disgaea, Hour of Darkness with Mio X Fu. And I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I won't be doing... Well, I will probably be doing them regularly, sort of regularly, like weekly, for a little while. Uh, just so that we can get past a bunch of the story stuff and I can start level grinding. Um, but this will not... This will never be a completely regular thing, but like I said, I will show every, every I will show all the story parts. I will show you stuff from the levels and all that. Um, so it will kind of be let's playish, just because there's so much story that you don't want you don't want to miss out on because it's just amazing. The story for this game, what I'm telling you right now, one of the favorite, it's absolutely hilarious. So, all right, I'm done explaining. I don't know why I'm going on like this. Rant, 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 blather, blather, blather. Um, bye.